Good morning. Welcome to Holy Innocence Episcopal Church, our regular morning prayer service. Glad to be with you. I am not. Buddy um, Buddy is on a well-deserved, well-earned vacation. I am his substitute. Glad to be with you on this Tuesday, September 29th. Today is Michaelmas, or the Feast of St. Michael and All Angels. It is um, a big feast day in the church, or at least historically, it's not as much one known now, but it is today. Good morning, Gail. Good morning, Florence. Glad you're here. Um, again, today is Michaelmas. It is one of the great feast days of the church, and historically, especially in England, it was one of the ways to mark the quarters of the year. So uh, we talk about first, second, third, and fourth quarter, right, in our business world, and those tend to be set much more arbitrarily on three-month, not arbitrarily, but is systematically on three-month schedules. For the ancient world or the medieval world, Michaelmas was one of those. Today being Michaelmas is one of those days that we would literally stop everything and, and uh, worship together. And then this is also when, oh, your third quarter rent was due on Michaelmas. Uh, and there were, again, four of those times during the year when you would do that, pay those. So uh, good morning, Florence. The Michaelmas is one of those great feast days of the church that we uh, don't honor in quite the same way as we used to, but is still a big day. Michaelmas is just a sort of pushing down, combining of words. Today is the feast for St. Michael and all angels. You would have a mass on St. Michael's Day, and then this it would be, eventually became Michaelmas. In the same way that uh, you would have a mass for the um, birth of Christ or Christmas, Christmas, right? Um, your random trivia for the day, if you don't know those things. Glad to be with you again. I'm Bill Murray. Um, I'm here in place of Buddy, who's our usual Tuesday morning leader. Buddy is fine. He is well. He's just on a much-deserved vacation. He has finally taken some time off and gone down to the beach and some quiet and some time away from the work schedule and the ardors of our ministry. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Florence. Good morning, Michael James Knight. Glad you're all watching. Glad you're all with me this morning. Again, today is Michaelmas, the feast of St. Michael and all the angels, um, which is a huge deal in the church, or traditionally has been a big deal in the church. Before our modern creation of court, the quarter system, this was part of the quarter system. Um, Michaelmas was when rent was due in the fall, the third quarter rent. Um, and so while we would schedule it a little bit differently nowadays, according to quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, for the, those folks in the business world, in the church world, it was Candlemas and Michaelmas and all the other different times of year. So uh, Michaelmas is just the pushing together of words. Today is the Feast of St. Michael and all the angels, and you would have a Mass on St. Michael's Day or Michaelmas, Michael Mass, uh, just pushing those words together. And as I was just sharing, uh, it's also how we get some of the other words in the life of the church, like you would have a Mass for the Feast of Christ on Christ's Day also known as Christmas, Christmas, right? Good morning, Melissa. Glad you're with us. Again, Buddy is fine. He is just on vacation with Eric. I think they're down at the beach on Sea Island, if I recall correctly, and they're doing well. I think it's his first vacation since the pandemic began, so glad that he is finally taking some time. We all know and love Buddy and know that sometimes he will push through and just keep getting things going. And every now and then, it, you just have to encourage and remind him that uh, time away is good, too. So he is fine, and he is well, and we're glad to be able to share in ministry with him. And especially, I'm glad to just be able to say, hey, we've got, we can, we can do this. We can share our ministries in such a way that we don't all have to be here all the time. It's about nine o'clock. Uh, today, again, we'll be celebrating the feast of St. Michael and all the angels, Michaelmas. We aren't going to have a mass. We'll do morning prayer, though, so it'll be a little different. But glad to be with you. 
Our service this morning begins on page 78 of the Book of Common Prayer. Page 78. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds, make known his deeds among all the peoples. Turning to page 80, the invitatory and Psalter. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. On the next page, <clears throat> the earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Turning to page 83, we will say together the Christ, our Passover. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once and for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. He So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Hallelujah. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm number 8. Psalm 8 on page 592 of the Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 8 on page 592. O Lord, our God, our Lord, our governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. Out of the mouths of infants and children, your majesty is praised above the heavens. You have set up a stronghold against your adversaries to quell the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in their courses. What is man that you should be mindful of him? The son of man that you should seek him out. You have made him live but little lower than the angels. You adorn him with glory and honor. You give him mastery over the works of your hands. You put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the fields. The birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever walks in the paths of the sea. O Lord, our governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading for today is Job 38, 1 through 7. Job 38, 1 through 7. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. Who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up your loins like a man. I will question you, and you shall declare to me. Were you, where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me, if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know, or who stretched the line upon it? On what were its bases sunk? Who laid its cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together, and all the heavenly beings shouted for joy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, Sally. Good morning, Kit. I'm glad you're on this morning. For our response to the um, <clears throat> Old Testament reading, let us say together the first song of Isaiah found on page 86 of the Book of Common Prayer. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my Savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the spring 
of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading today. Good morning, Judy. Glad to see you, Jeannie. Our New Testament reading today is Revelation 5, verses 1 through 14. Then I saw in the right hand of the one seated on the throne a scroll written on the inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep bitterly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. See, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders a lamb standing as if it had been slaughtered, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. He went and took the scroll from the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne. When he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell before the lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. They sing a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slaughtered, and by your blood you ransomed for God's saints from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign on earth. Then I looked, and I heard the voice of many angels surrounding the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They numbered myriads and myriads of thousands and thousands, singing with full voice. Worthy is the lamb that was slaughtered to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the sea and in the sea and all that is in them singing. To the one seated on the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For our new response to the New Testament reading, I think we should go with, uh, well, we just read the Song of the Redeemed pretty much. Um, we'll just go with the Song of Simeon, found on page 93 of the Book of Common Prayer. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Good morning to everyone. For those just tuning in or who have just tuned in the last few minutes, glad you are with us this morning, worshiping with Holy Innocence. My name is Bill Murray. If you're looking for Buddy, Buddy and Eric are on a nice vacation this week. They went down, I believe, to Sea Island and are just taking some time away. Um, and God bless Buddy. I think that's his first vacation since the pandemic started, first time away. And glad we can afford him that opportunity to get away and take some time. He does such wonderful work and ministry for all of us. It's good that he gets a break in the midst of all of the things going on in our world. Uh, glad to be with you. Today is the Feast of Michaelmas, as it's called. It's St. Michael and All Angels um, is the feast day itself, where we celebrate Michael, 
and all the angels. Michael, of course, is known as the commander of the armies of heaven, or as it's used in biblical terms, the heavenly host. That literally means army. So we have a couple of references to Michael specifically about him defeating Satan. Jesus makes reference to that um, in uh, one of the Gospels. Then on top of that, it's just really to recognize that God has a lot more going on than we recognize. Uh, you know, the funny thing is in our modern world, while more, fewer and fewer people are identifying as religious, being part of actual church communities, the exact opposite has come true that, um, no, not come true. More and more people now believe in angels. The number of people who believe in angels has risen almost at the same rate that people who go to church has decreased. Um, more and more people have a belief and understanding that God has, pe has beings at work all around us, helping us, walking with us, being messengers of God's hope and love in the world. When, uh, well, we do the best we can, but maybe when we don't always get things done quite right. The Feast of St. Michael and all angels is a reminder that God is doing more than we can ask or see or even at times imagine. That there are angels all around loving us and caring for us and making sure we are safer than we might like to even believe. So, today we celebrate these angels, those messengers of God, be they winged, be they just friends who are voices for God's love and peace in the world, and for each of you. I pray you have a good day for this St. Michael and all angels for Michaelmas. We continue on page 96 with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. On the top of page 97, the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A is at the bottom of the page there. Show us your mercy, O Lord and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The collect for today for St. Michael and all angels. Let us pray. Everlasting God, who has ordained and constituted in a wonderful order the ministries of angels and mortals, mercifully grant that as your holy angels always serve and worship you in heaven, so by your appointment they may help and defend us here on earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. On the top of page 100, a collect for grace. 
Lord God, Father, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purposes through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A colic for guidance, especially on a day when we celebrate the angels in our world who guide us. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Today we pray especially for our nation as we enter, well, we all know we've been in the election season for a while, but tonight we have our first presidential debate. We pray, Lord, this day for our nation and as we discern your will for us, that we might make the choices that lead to more love, to more hope for all of your people. And at the same time, help us, Lord, to realize that the other side is not nearly as bad as everybody wants to claim, that we are all your children. The general thanksgiving can be found on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace, and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. It's good to be with you, my friends. I pray that you have a great day on this Michaelmas, on this Feast of St. Michael and all the angels. And may you realize that angels are truly walking with you on your path, that God is near and giving you messages of support, of love, and hope every step of your way. God bless. Have a good day, my friends.